Good morning, everybody. I'm in the midst of a rope cup here at California Adventure. We are going to continue our, our, our recon, our our efforts to learn more about DCA rope drop. It's something that I haven't done very many of in my life. I've not done a hundred Disneyland rope drops, but just a handful of DCA. Our last one, we started, our, our theory was to start at, at California Red Soren. That went okay, but today I want to try Raider Springs races. Everybody has been asking me, should you rope drop Raider Springs races? Uh, I've actually done a rope drop at Raider Springs. In between the last video that we did, our last rope drop video, I did one, did go particularly well, but I also got there kind of late. We're going to talk about that in a little bit in terms of the nuance, the <laughs> minutes count at rope drop, especially trying to get the it. But for now, we're going to uh, count this down. We've got about a half an hour to go before this rope drop. Let's take a look at what we're up against. So we got here at 7.25. Not too, we got fairly close to the front of the line makes a big difference. I would say a solid 80% of the people that are in this workshop with me are all going to the same place. They're all going to Raider Springs Racers. So I'm doing better than I have in the past, so I do expect to be somewhere near the front. I will say this, our last uh, rope drop at Raider Springs, it, it still took us, we got here at like 7.40, it took us 45 minutes to do standoff. I was not prepared for that. I was not ready for that when that happened. Uh, so I expect to do better than that today. We are also up against early entry. This one I'm showing you right now is the early entry queue for uh, group going in. We'll notice a bunch of people turning left on the Adventist campus. They're going to Web Slingers. There are some guests going in, into cars there. However, the only thing that's open is Mater's Junk Dare Jamboree. Mater Springs Racers is not open for those early entry. As a matter of fact, we did a video, an early entry video a while back part of our Getaway Today uh, affiliation. You might want to check that one out if you, if you do have early entry. Give one for both Disney and NBCA. I'll put links to that in the description. But now what they're doing though, those guests that are going to the cars like they're not going in to ride. Well, they could, I suppose. They could probably do Mater's and then get into the standby queue. This is similar to the, the theory or the practice of pre-queuing for Rise of Resistance during early entry to queue up at the Big Thunder Trail near near the uh, Red Rose Tavern. But I would imagine that a lot of those guests are going to be in that standby queue ahead of us just waiting. So that's that's part of the reason why you have a, a longer than you might expect wait for standby because you're not just up against early entry. If, they, if Raider Springs was open, that would be actually better for us because then you could process all those guests. But in, instead of processing them before 8 a.m. when the road drops, they're just queuing. So they might as well all be up here in the front of the line and ahead of us, right? It is now 7.41. There is the group behind us now. And again, I, I, the reason why I'm doing this, where I maybe not normally do that for a Disneyland rope drop, is because 80, 90% of those guests are all going to Radiator Springs. So some minutes count. We are, this happened in just about 10 minutes time, and it's probably going to reach all the way to the back, you know, towards Carthay Circle by the time the rope drops at 8 a.m. And you can see there's still, golly, I never actually considered this until this morning. All those guests that are going into Cars Land right now, pre-rope drop, that's a real bummer. That really that really makes it difficult to uh, get this done quickly. Five minutes to rope drop, and as predicted, looks like the back of the group has now reached the edge of the uh, Carthay Theater. <laughs> I hope they're not going to raid it. This is gonna go so badly, I can just tell. There are so many people heading into Radiator Springs right now. Oh my god. Use your time wisely. Race turn it again. It's not in the app. It doesn't say it in the app, but the guy just said, use your time wisely. Radiator Springs Racers is down. By that he means get out of this queue and go find something else to do. But what else are we gonna do? This is the whole point of the show. Is to rope drop. This is why you don't rope drop Raiders Springs Racers or Rise of the Resistance. 
we're, we're gonna we're gonna camp. I think we're just gonna have to go for it and see what happens. Yeah. So there's not even a queue. They're not even they're not even queuing people. You just have to kind of loiter. You can't. So I guess we could sort of hang out. I mean, they've got people posted out here. But you can move ahead of them. And I, I think that's what some folks are gonna do. Man, that has gotta be one of the most frustrating things to happen for somebody you know, who doesn't get to come to the park all the time like I do. Uh, you know, so you get all primed up, you get queued up, you're like, I'm gonna go do very pro shop Raider Springs. This is man. Now what? Now what do you do? Well, like the man said, I'm gonna go find something else to do. <laughs> I'm gonna make better use of my time. I would love to just sit around and, and see how long it takes for Raider Springs racers to open. But I'm trying to do Rope Drop Recon. This is, it, Rope Drop is more of, than just Raider Springs racers. What else? I'm gonna jump across to uh, through Adventures Campus and go check out Mission Breakout. I, that's another possibility. People suggest starting with Mission Breakout because that's a queue you want to get a jump, you know, uh, a jump on because it gets really busy later in the day. Let's check it out. And that is a very empty Avengers campus. Doctor Strange is just hanging out, <laughs> looking for somebody to cast a spell on. He's practicing his uh, gestures, his magic gestures, I guess. Web Slingers is also closed. I mentioned before, it wasn't on the app. One thing you can do while you're waiting for the rope to drop is to check the Disneyland app and see which attractions are closed. Because they, they normally will indicate if the attraction is open or not. That's why I was kind of surprised. You know, I didn't see that in the app for Raider Springs Races, but I did see it for Web Slingers. And I think I heard Incredicoaster was closed also. And uh, you know, that kind of puts a damper on, on trying to make an efficient rope trap. Not going well so far, but it looks like Mission Breakout is open. It's posted at 35 already. There's the standby. Presently, First big. morning, it is 8.07. Is that the back of the, I don't know which is which. They are, that's the back of standby? I think so. What a weird queue. They've got it curling around. That's interesting. I wonder if the cast set that up. Wait. When we walked by just a couple minutes ago, it said 35. Oh, over there? Just on the street. Come on in. That can't be good. What in the world? It is 8.07. Oh, now, while that is, an, oh my gosh, it's going outside the queue too. We're in the extended queue. That's an impressive amount of people at what is now, let's see. 8.14 That's a very impressive amount of people to be in this queue right now at this time of morning. But consider Raider Springs Racers is closed. Web Slingers is closed. And Incredicoaster isn't down, it's out. It's they're closed for a brief reaper, so it won't open at all today. It doesn't even show up on the app right now. Uh, so it, where else are people gonna go? If you're trying to hit, you know, the big rides in the morning, you got Toy Story Midway Mania, which is actually kind of light. I think I saw it in 15 minutes. Because this guy's soaring. So there are, you know, minimal options. So this is this is drawing. Mission Breakout is drawing a lot of guests from those other attractions right now. Constant loop was big motivation for me to escape. Ow! Ow! Whoa! 
Republican. That was not part of the plan. What? Of course I escaped. For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The smart one. Now show me those hands, people! <laughs> you got clearance, let's roll! bad uh all in to the right vehicle which i assume is where they measure to the actual vehicle even though there is a pre-show uh 40 minutes to the ride vehicle it was about uh i want to say 25 you know what let me check get my handy dandy notebook out here i took some recon notes for this to get to the you know the, the rocket the pre-show with rocket and the collector and all that that was uh a little less than half an hour about 27 minutes Hi, morning. 40 minutes all in. <laughs> I feel like I've been here all morning and it's still not even, is it nine? Yeah, just turned nine o'clock. Uh, I just checked the app <clears throat> and Raider Springs Racers is still closed. So I think what I'd like to do, one of the things that uh, I was concerned about in terms of uh, soaring, soaring around the world was that that's a cue that, that is a very, it's a slog. It's difficult to, to manage that, that standby queue. Very popular lightning lane attraction, by the way. Web Slingers did open. Posted at 55 minutes right now. Maron <laughs> at 9 a.m. 55 minutes. Whew. I was not expecting that. When you go to Disneyland, you rope drop Disneyland, you get a good solid two hours before you ever see a queue like that, even for the most popular attractions, even for Space Mountain or Rise of the Resistance, but the, the wait times escalate here quickly. All of the rides here, all the good ones are on Lightning Lane, and there's fewer. So you've got this big size park, but there's you know half as many attractions. So they got to put all those bodies in, in you know fewer attractions. So that's why they they kick up. DCA can be a difficult park to navigate any time of day in terms of waiting in queues for that very reason. Plus, there's fewer things to do. There's less non-attraction related activities. It's just not a full park in that regard like Disneyland is. But anyway, I digress. I think I'm gonna go to Soren next. I wanna see how long it takes to get the best standby queue at 9 a.m. I'm not optimistic. And one of the reasons why I'm not optimistic, you know, we've already seen a bunch of, a bunch of times approaching an hour prior to 9 a.m. Web Slingers and uh, got our, our Mission Breakout but also because we've got two major attractions closed still in Credit Coaster and Mayor Springs Racers. So just like Mission Breakout, those guests have got to go somewhere. So I'm expecting to find some resistance here at Soren. Well, that's not a lot of guests, at least. That's promising. And there, you may or may not be able to see that the posted standby wait time right now, hey guys, is 30 minutes. That is acceptable. <laughs> Assuming it's accurate. I find that agreeable at 9.15 a.m. in the morning. This is moving briskly. Very little influence right now from individual lightning lane. And we're just going to slide right into the uh, building. This, under normal conditions, could take 
forever. <laughs> 30, 40 minutes sometimes, depending on how full the queue was. It was a half full queue when we got in. But because there's so few lightning lane right now, and that's the benefit of rope dropping or coming in early in the morning, fewer people are using TUNI Plus at this point. Uh, you get a, you know, that's a pretty, um, pretty chill entrance into the building, although we're not quite in there yet. Soaring to tower. We are ready for takeoff. Oh, Say, I'm, I'm quite shocked that we got through that. What was it, 30? We were at our vehicle at 9.30. And a lot of that is you know, pre-show type stuff. Let me see here. 9.28, we were in that queue for a total of 20 minutes. We entered at 9.08, got out at 9.28, and that includes, you know, that includes putty, that includes, uh, you know, getting into the vehicle, getting, you know, waiting in that whole thing, the pre-show and all that, so slick. By the way, it got even better. When we got out, it was just a 20 minute wait. When we left, there was hardly anybody in the standby queue. Things are going so backwards this morning. You know what, I should check. Let me check uh, the tip board and see if Radiator Springs Racers. Hi guys, good morning. Let's see. I mean, our, it's we're, we're, we're almost at 10 a.m. Yeah, Raider Springs is open, and it's posted at 65. I think we're going to do a drive-by. I'm not going to be able to get in queue. Whenever we do these recon sessions for rope drops, it's 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. That's it. Because I feel like the rope drop experience ends at 10, 10 a.m. Wow, it's jumped to 75 since we checked. 75 minutes now, and look at how full that standby queue is. It's almost about ready to poke out of the threshold here. I am observing... Let's see. Okay, that's... I was contemplating single rider, but that's going to be a no. That's the back of the single rider queue right there. So you're looking at 20, 30 minutes at least, maybe maybe more. It just depends on, on how efficient things are running, you know, how, how many single riders they can get into vehicles. But this is a... Uh... <laughs> there are no bargains at Radiator Springs Racers, man. There really are none. You know, I feel kind of let down by how this rope drop went. We just got two attractions in, and that's it. Hi, good morning. Under normal conditions, I feel like we would have done better. But with the number of attractions that were closed, it made everything else worse. Uh, and, you know, like Mission Breakout and all that. Just, we got two rides in, that's it. I think, I think normally it would be, obviously you could do three. But probably four... If your fourth ride is something that is kind of easier to get onto, it depends on where you start. You know, the thing we still got to do, I've still never tried to rope drop Toy Story. Although the one time that I was in the area of Toy Story when the rope dropped, we did a, uh, when we did the early entry and we were at the pier at 8 a.m. when everything opened and Toy Story did not open. And so there was a huge queue. <laughs> I remember that. There was a huge queue waiting for uh, Toy Story to open. So it kind of, I mean, it just wasn't very, anyway. That's something that we still have to try to do, but I feel like 
I don't like rope dropping all the way into the back of the park like that because uh, now you got to work your way back. I don't know. I like working from the front, you know, into the park if I can help it. I mean, we could do meters right now. That's 15 minutes. And that's probably, no, that's even probably less than 15 after I look at it because they're not using the switchbacks back there. But that's a thing. Throw Mater in there. So Radiator's now posted at 80 and it looked like it was all of that. Toy Story at 35. Soren is now down to 15. It was 20 before. Web Slingers is down to 25. Fascinating. Fascinating. How is that possible that, well, I shouldn't ask how that possible, but it, it is interesting that the ride times went down. Guardians is down to 30. At Rope Drop, everything was higher. That is wild. It is going to change. <laughs> I'm just going to stare at this for a while. So I feel like we're just going to chalk this one up. This rope drop is part of our learning experience. One more rep on the belt. We need to do a lot more to get a really good idea of how one should, should rope drop. But I do think we learned a few things. One, it reinforces my belief that rope dropping Raider Springs Racers just isn't wise. I mean, unless you're just absolutely committed to that. But it's gonna, no matter what, it's going to cost you... I would say at least, probably an hour. It's gonna cost you an hour, even if you do it well, unless you do early entry. But then you also run the risk of things going really bad and then it costs your whole, your whole rope drop experience. But there's just not a lot of options here at DCA. So you kind of have to commit to something and anything can go wrong on any one of those. Soren, Mission Breakout, Credit Coaster, they could all break down, Toy Story 2. So there's really no guarantees. Rope dropping, DCA is quite an experience and I was, like I said just now, very surprised at the wait times now compared to what they were an hour ago. They're lower. What? Thanks for watching everybody, we love you. Follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney, that's Fresh Baked No E, and on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. If you like our show and want to show you support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Baked. Hi! Uh, where was I? Asking you to join Patreon at patreon.com where was I again? Patreon. Patreon.com slash And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We love you. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh bake.